welcome to the next segment of War Story Wednesdays. Today, I want to take you back in time to 1917, the Russian Revolution, where the Tsar is, you know, slaughtering people left and right. Anybody that can get out of Russia is trying to get out of Russia. And they do. They go to China, they go to Japan, they go to anywhere in Europe. This one particular couple ended up going to Korea, where they were deemed stateless people. You couldn't buy property, you couldn't vote, you had no citizenship. And that is a very, very difficult way to live. Eventually, they were able to get to America, where they ended up in San Jose. Their overriding goal in life was to make sure that their children were never stateless, were never propertyless. When it came time for them to buy real estate, they wanted to be sure that the property they bought could be subdivided so that their son and their daughter would receive ownership of real estate in their own right. They sought out a real estate agent to help them find just that kind of property. And they landed on someone in Hillsboro, which, by the way, isn't a bad place to find lots to subdivide. They told the agent exactly what they wanted and exactly why they wanted it. And the agent was very clear about the importance of subdividability. The clients told the agent there was no hurry. They were willing to wait as long as it took until they found just the right piece of property. And lo and behold, shortly after they met, the real estate agent saw an ad in the multiple listing service, one plus acre. And one plus acre was important because the agent knew that in order to subdivide land in Hillsboro, the primary piece had to be at least one acre in size. So this property fit the bill. They made an offer, they closed escrow, it was all good. During the escrow, the agent meets these people on the property and they're looking at the boundary fences and the agent says that that fence over there on the south side, that's the borderline. Sticks his thumb out and says, yeah, I've eyeballed it, this is an acre. It says so on the MLS too. A couple of years later, come to find out, when the next door neighbors do a survey and move that back fence about 10 feet, that the size of the lot the broker sold these folks was 0.998 of an acre. Two one hundredths short of that full acre and thus maybe not subdividable. These clients were unhappy and sued the broker for fraud for negligence, for a misrepresentation, innocently made or not. The broker relied on the multiple listing service, the information from the sellers, the seller's agent, and everyone else that was involved in the deal. And the court said, too bad. Because the real estate broker representing the buyer said that he'd eyeballed the property and thus opined that it was an acre plus. The agent was responsible for that representation as one of a fact, not merely an opinion. Because the agent eyeballed the fence and said, yeah, that's the boundary line, without checking or without saying that he hadn't verified that that was indeed the boundary line. The agent was responsible for the misrepresentation innocently made or not. Passing on a representation that you have not verified is called constructive fraud. Whether it's innocently done or not, if you pass it on, you own it and you are responsible for it if it's wrong. So, what's the lesson that you learned from this? Don't say what you don't know. And if you haven't checked it, say so. If this agent had done that, there likely wouldn't have been liability. But because the agent adopted the other's representations, it became the agent's representation. <laughs>